Hi friends, welcome to Naya videos. Today I would like to share my views on a dropshipping business. How to establish your store and how to promote your products in Google Shopping Ads. So this is my website My Crazy Panda. You can see by using WordPress plugin like uh, Ali Dropship plugin, I created my website. You can see this is an uh, kids e-commerce store. By using Ali Dropship plugin, I created this one. So I will share you the link in the comment section uh, how to how to establish your store too if you are interested. So today I will like to share my views on how to create Google Shopping ads for your dropshipping business. So uh, Ali Dropship plugin, Ali Dropship uh, uh, provided uh, some additional add-ons uh, to establish your uh, store more effectively like they are offering some plugins like google merchant center and go and uh, abundant cart and uh, timer count countdown timer and all these plugins are very add-ons are very useful for your ali dropship plugin so now i will like to explain how this google merchant will help you to create a shopping ads uh, for your e-commerce store so let us log into the backend side and uh, in the backend side you will see uh, google merchant uh, merchant uh, add-on here by clicking that you will you will see in the dashboard like uh, general settings it is enabled and uh, download is disabled and uh, all the site categories will be loaded into your in this drop down you can simply select the categories which you want to create a ad for google shopping ads so i created five of the categories you can see simply check check the checkbox here and uh, just save the save the settings and then after saving the settings you can simply generate the xml now what will be happen is uh, they will they will give you a google catalog xml url by taking this simple google xml url and uh, by taking this url and you need to go to the google merchant center you if you are, don't create any um, google merchant center you can simply create the google merchant center account and uh, adwords account uh, for a uh, for a uh, shopping ads for these both uh, accounts need to be mandatory so before you taking this url you need to create google merchant center and uh, adwords accounts so i already created the google merchant center and adwords account so let us check how i will create uh, the feed and how i will fetch the all my products into google merchant center so and what are the settings need to be added in google merchant center to approve your shopping ads so you can see it is a uh, it is in the progress once it is done you will get a xml file uh, let us go before that uh, merchant center how it looks in the merchant center before adding before adding the your feed you need to add some basic information like uh, your business information what is your business exactly and what is the name of your business and what is the site url and uh, business address and customer service contact details so these are the mandatory details you need to provide so be, uh, before adding the feed you need to add your business details basic information of your business should be entered here so the mandatory things is business address and customer service contact number uh, please make sure that these two business address and customer service contact details should be placed in your contact page or uh, in your website any any page of your website should be displayed these details otherwise google will not approve your shopping ads so before going to that and you need to also declare the tax details in the tax settings you need to you need to select the type of tax suppose if you if you are taking any taxes from your customers so you need to opt for configure tax and set up nexus so if you are not collecting any taxes from the customers you can simply check the radio button configure no nexus for all states so you are not collecting any tax for 
actually tax for the uh, products you sell from the customers so you simply check the configure no nexus for all states if you don't collect any taxes otherwise you need to provide the details of your taxation and later you need to go to the shipping details in the shipping details you need to add the shipping uh, shipping service name and area and currency and shipping rates so if you if you check into this you can see uh, suppose i am i am i entered the i entered the shipping service name as e packet which is uh, i am i am planning to uh, show my shopping ads in india too so in india i want to add the name of the pack name of the service name and service area so india is the service area and the currency is inr we need to mention the delivery time and uh, so my delivery time is 7 to 25 days and uh, you need to enter the shipping rates here my shipping rate is uh, free because uh, i am offering a free shipping to throughout the world so i i created the free shipping services here shipping rates here i simply added the free shipping label here so after after saving this so it is uh, it is the time to create the feed because before creating the feed you need to you need to check all these three things and one is uh, business information tax and shipping details so coming to next is products in the products section you can see some of the green and some of them are uh, pink and some of them are orange the pink one is uh, which is disapproved and the orange is uh, pending and active green is active so before going to feeds you need to check you need to take the xml file uh, this is the xml file for my website mycrazypanda.com and uh, the google catalog.xml file is generated by google merchant plugin so this is uh, if you don't have this plugin we need to create all these uh, products manually using google sheet actually google also provide a three four options like uploading the feed and fetching the feed from directly from the website and uh, uh, adding the sheet google sheet and these kind of uh, uh, input feeds can be available in google merchant center let us check how we can add the feed in this in this section you need to select the target country like india or us if you are selecting a us you can simply select the united states and english and next continue click the continue button and here in the second option you can see you need to enter the name of the feed like you can enter the primary feed name here and in the choose how to set up your feed and con connect your data to merchant center so in the google google sheets you can simply select the google sheet and continue the google google will create a sheet in your drive and in that drive you need to in that sheet you need to enter the complete product details how many products you want to promote all these details should be entered in that feed google sheet feed so that is one kind and schedule fetch this is nothing but placing the url like this you can simply uh, using some add-ons like a google merchant center add-on i will share the link below in the comment section you can you can go with that url and uh, check that plugin google merchant center plugin in ali dropship plugin uh, ali dropship uh, store and uh, this google merchant uh, uh, url like uh, this is a feed url you can simply copy and paste it here and select this one and click continue in the next tab suppose feed one and continue in the next tab you need to enter the name of the file like uh, the name of the file feed is uh, uh, if what you want to add like the feed is uh, if you are if you are adding like a google catalog one suppose that is one of the kind of name you it's your wish to enter your name and you can add the fetch frequency like if you want to fetch daily or monthly or hourly you have no, you have three options like daily weekly and monthly so i selected the daily and fetch time and which time the feed need to be refetched from your website to updates from google merchant center so every day 12 am it will fetch the details of my products into google merchant center and you need to paste the url here so if the you if you url is secured with some login credentials you can simply enter the username and password here 
if you don't have any credentials it is an optional thing you can simply paste your url here so you can once you paste url and you can click continue uh, your job is done and can simply save that uh, feed so i already created the feed let us check that feed once and how this feed working in uh, my list you can see once you added the feed so you will see this status like uh, added some of the feeds like this if you get any approval for this suppose it is uh, see i added uh, both india and us so my indian uh, indian feed is not yet activated so it is showing like shopping ads is uh, not activated if the uh, my us feed is activated you can see here the shopping ads plus one more plus it is activated you can see the price and uh, the item feed and the the feed should be uh, this kind look like this the title item id price click uh, price and um, you can uh, some uh, language and country all the details like you can uh, uh, you can see in the google merchant center or help center you will uh, you, you will see how the feed should be uh, provided uh, details should be provided in the feed uh, if you are using a google sheet so otherwise uh, by using this plugin we you don't have any extra work to simply generate our feed and uh, upload it here directly so let us see here let us check one of the feed i uploaded and one of the product you can see if your product is approved the shopping ads is active and dynamic remarketing is active if both these two are active you are you are able to run a google shopping ads in your adwords account this is uh, this is one of the thing you need to know it is ready to serve so let us go to google ads google adwords account and check how these ads are running uh, you, you you need to do your uh, adwords account to link this uh, with uh, merchant center you can see account linking here you can simply link your account here your account is linked it go to the adwords and after going to the adwords you will see how to create the google shopping ads using adwords account you can simply go to this adwords account so this is adwords account you can see 300 impressions two clicks it is already running some campaigns here and i will show you what are the campaigns i am running uh, this is the one so if you want to create a shopping ads campaign you simply click the shopping campaigns and uh, you simply go to the campaign section here in the campaign section you have an option to create a, a shopping ad you simply click the plus symbol here so once you click the plus symbol you will be able to see a campaign type is it a search or display shopping video or universal app so based on these types you can simply select the shopping ads and sales what kind of uh, uh, what kind of uh, goals you want to put like sales leads website traffic and you can see here it it once it is linked you will get automatically fetched like select the merchant center already my merchant center is integrated to adwords if it is linked it will be automatically fetched and you can select the country here if i you can see in the indian the in the indian side products 197 and us is 197 for now us is approved for approved and indian is not yet approved so you can run united states campaign here so i already created this kind of campaigns you can simply click continue there you need to enter the ad group name uh, this is simple and you just save the campaign and your campaign will be up and run up and running and you need to enter the you need to enter the bid price uh, and you need to enter the cpc price so i will create another video how you to how to create a best and optimized campaigns for your google shopping ads 
for now i will only concentrate on how to create a shopping ads for your e-commerce store so let us see uh, i already created the shopping ad here how it is performing you can see uh, one of the one of the shopping ad is created you can see here uh, this is the one i created uh, in the last week daily i created uh, i created this ad and uh, uh, this maximum cp is i pre i added 15 cents uh, you can see uh, the products i added is 197 all are submitted approved active and ready these are the states if, if our products is ready the state will be ready to serve so please check this if if the status is ready to serve you are able to run campaigns for your google shopping ads so the impressions is 87 and the clicks is 2 and the cost is 25 and uh, the average cpc is 12.78 i added here cpc is 15 it is depends upon the ctr so it will fluctuate like this you can create the google shopping ads for united states india and different countries which are available so i will like to show what how the google shopping ads look like so i will show you a sam good example google shopping ads uh, it is very useful because uh, they offer a, it is very conversion rate is very good and you can see suppose if you type any product like amazon uh, amazon mobiles or anything you can see directly the product here in the google page itself uh, that is nothing but google shopping ads so, so here you can see see these are the google shopping ads so like this your ad will be displayed like a uh, name title of the ad price and store name and product image will be fetched from your merchant center so you can see here once i will show you how your product image will be displayed in the list you can simply check here whether the product image is displaying correct or not by seeing in the list here the image of the product is this uh, suppose if anybody searches for high speed rc off off road buggy uh, in the us if my product is displayed you simply see the product uh, image is this and the title is this and uh, name of the store is my crazy panda this is the one the store you can simply see this is the store this is the store will be displayed and if any click is done the user directly uh, redirected to this website and if it is uh, uh, the price is okay the user will purchase from your website so this is my website my crazy panda please visit my crazy panda once and check how the products is uh, placing and how uh, the prices are maintaining and how the drop shipping plugin is uh, uh, theme is uh, uh, visible and uh, you can see all the features here you can simply visit my crazy panda and check uh, my website if you are interested start your e-commerce business store from today itself actually it is a good uh, good business you you don't want to put much amount of uh, much much investment on this e-commerce store it is a, a simple uh, business and very profitable business i am sharing the link in the comment section below please um, please check that link and uh, please subscribe to naya video channel please share like and uh, subscribe to naya video channel thanks for watching naya videos